If you want to see which ones are true, go into training, turn on quick recovery, and put air recovery on all so you know what's true and what isn't. I'll have a couple of true combos on screen so you can get an idea of how to start it. Just remember that every characters won't be the same since they're all different, obviously. As a side note, Ganesha can't do this because he's too fat. Uranus can somewhat do it, but she jumps way too high in her human form. And while you can do it in your beast form, it's very risky since you jump higher and you'll probably only do it if you feel like you don't have any other options. However, I will say that you can kick or punch in the air, then follow up with the slam dunk punch spark attack since you're airborne temporarily. Moving on, we're going to be talking about a cross under mix up. It's when you launch your opponent in the air and you run under them with a follow up, but you'll either have to read your opponent's air recover, they'll have to be launched in a twirling state, or you'll need enough time to run under them and then follow up. Keep in mind that what you do as a follow up depends since characters vary, and since this is a 3D space, they're not just limited to recovering in one direction or spot, so don't do this too much or you'll be easy to read and you will get punished. The last thing that I'm going to discuss are cross-ups. If you play fighting games, then you know exactly what a cross-up is. All you need to know is that when it comes to Bloody Roar, there are a variety of ways you can perform a cross-up. You can forward beast with any of the characters, as long as you're not Ganesha or Stun. If you're playing Alice, you can do a quarter circle back beast flip. Do a running jump followed up by a drop kick. And when your back is turned and you're in beast, you can jump behind your opponent with a kick or punch. If you're not Ganesha or Stun, that is. As a side note, Uranus' cross-up is the best one in the game. All you have to do is run and press punch. Stun can sort of cross up with this running, flying, belly flop or whatever that is, but he's so heavy and big that the timing is very strict, so it's better to just run and drop kick with him in his human form. Buzuzima can do it with his belly flop as well, but the timing needs to be precise, but really, it's situational and it's not a necessity. I just thought that it'd be worth mentioning. That's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next upload whenever, if ever. Peace.